For parenting a child with ADHD, what parents are dealing with most often are these very extreme dysregulation behaviors in the home, whether it's having to do a non-preferred task, attacking a sibling, or just simply getting bored and looking for negative attention. So parents are consistently dealing with dysregulation behaviors in the home, and there seems to be little progress day to day, and every single day seems to be the same exact battle. So following the research, there are some evidence-based strategies we can follow to help decrease these behaviors and create the boundaries needed to make these behaviors dissipate and finally become fully eliminated and be replaced with more healthy activities and healthy ways to self-regulate and self-advocate when needed. One of the first things you're going to want to do as a parent is have a sit down with your child to discuss these dysregulation behaviors. And the first thing to remember going into this conversational meeting is that you want to use as little words as possible. Too much language is going to dysregulate your ADHD child and the words will start to have no meaning. It's too much information to process. So you want to be short and stay on message. You're going to want to start by describing exactly what you see as the parent when your child's dysregulated. What do you see your child doing? Are they physically attacking somebody? Are they breaking property? Are they screaming and yelling and looking for attention? Describe very quickly what you are seeing visually as the parent. Then you have to very quickly move to how it makes you feel as the parent to see your child acting that way because you love them so much, care about them, and their safety is your number one priority. So when you see them acting like that, you feel unsafe. So pretty much the most important message in all of this that we have to convey to the child is when I see you acting like this, looking like this, doing these things, it makes me feel unsafe. So what do I have to do when I see you acting that way is I have to walk away. I cannot get involved. I have to walk away, allow you to have your emotions that you're allowed to have. You're allowed to be upset. You're allowed to have these emotions. You're allowed to do these things, but I have to walk away and you can come back to me when you are ready. And when I see you're ready, then I will be able to talk to you. Now you have this very important boundary set in place. But parents have to remember, the child now realizes these behaviors aren't working anymore. When I get dysregulated, I'm not getting that negative attention. So they're going to take it up a notch. Behaviors will get worse before they get better. Stay consistent.